Are you ready to learn how to buy Tectonic or really anything on the Kronos blockchain? Now, I do think that during the next bull run, the Kronos chain is going to be one of the biggest competitors with the Ethereum blockchain, which will be good to all of the projects that are operating in the Kronos ecosystem are ready. So we might as well get ahead of the curve and learn how to purchase those projects. First, do me a favor, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you like being here. And if you wanna skip ahead to any part of this video, timestamps are going to be in the description down below. So without further ado, let's jump into it so you can learn all about how to buy Kronos projects, more specifically Tectonic. Now, this is a pretty easy process if you want to buy it on the crypto.com exchange. I mean, the choice is up to you, but I personally don't trust exchanges, but I still want to support crypto.com. Com. So in this situation, I'm going to be using their DeFi wallet. Now, if you wanted to buy it on crypto.com, it's super, super easy. All you have to do is look up whatever cryptocurrency product you want. In this case, it's Tectonic. You go to Tectonic and then you could swap within the app and then it's in your portfolio. Real easy to do, done. I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this who use the exchange know what I'm talking about. But for this scenario, we're going to use the DeFi wallet. So I'm going to go to crypto.com's main website. Now, you don't have to use a Kronos DeFi wallet. You could use a MetaMask wallet if you like, and I'm sure many, many more. In fact, I actually prefer the MetaMask wallet over Crypto.com's wallet. But for this example, I want to just support this exchange in some way, shape, or form. So I'm going to be using their wallet. But if you wanted to use your MetaMask wallet, this is how you would do it. Now, once you open your MetaMask wallet, you notice that there's no Kronos chain here. It's not here automatically. The only thing that's really here automatically is the Ethereum mainnet when you get a MetaMask wallet. So obviously, we have to get on the Kronos chain to to get Kronos projects. So this is an easy way to do it. Now you could go Google a bunch of stuff on what to enter and plug in a bunch of stuff. I'm lazy, I don't like to do that. So I'm going to go to VVS Finance. And of course, links to everything is going to be in the description down below. And VVS Finance is pretty much what Uniswap is to the Ethereum blockchain. VVS is to the Kronos blockchain. It's one of their most popular decentralized exchanges. I'm just gonna go to Connect Wallet. I'm going to click MetaMask. It's going to tell me it's the wrong network. I'm going to click on that. Then it's going to say switch to the Kronos chain. I'm going to click on that. It's going to open up my MetaMask wallet. And these are the things that you would need to enter manually if you wanted to enter it manually. I'm lazy. I just go down to approve. And just like that, we'll, we'll press switch networks. And just like that, we are on the Kronos chain. So super easy if you are if you have a MetaMask account. And, and the process when you purchase Tectonic is going to be the same. Now let's do the Kronos DeFi wallet. So of course, we're gonna do crypto.com. We're gonna go to their website, right? We're gonna go to their products and we're gonna go down to advanced trading under DeFi. I like how they think this is advanced trading. I guess it is. Maybe we're just a bunch of uh, experts here, right? Big brain people over here using DeFi wallets. I mean, it's true freedom, right? When you have a DeFi wallet so i guess we are doing advanced trading i go down the to the browser extension and of course you're going to have to set up a wallet and the browser extension is going to look something like this little crow symbol right here it's near the holidays so it has a little santa hat on it right now you have to set up your DeFi wallet i'm not going to walk you through how to do that because if you have a metamask account you know how to set up a DeFi wallet just make sure you write down your seed phrases right write down your seed phrases and write down your password just in case something happens with your account and you need to get back in and recover it you have that information. Now, once you have the Kronos wallet, it's gonna look something like this. And all this works the same on desktop, right? Except it's going to be an app, right? Once you open up, it's going to look like this. Make sure you're on the Kronos mainnet, not the crypto.com.org, right? Or crypto.org, the Kronos mainnet. Boom, right there. All right, so once you're there, now we're ready to swap for Tectonic. Now, if you want to send Tectonic from your crypto.com exchange to your DeFi wallet, you could. But if you have the exchange, it seems like, you know, an extra step sending it to your wallet when you could just buy it in the exchange. So I bet you're asking yourself, how the heck do I get Crow in my DeFi wallet to actually swap for Tectonic? Because all you have to do is open up the Kronos app, you press swap, you see a little menu right here, and you just press Tonic, right? and you see Tectonic pop up right here. But obviously you need Crow in order to swap for Tectonic. So how the hell do you get it in your wallet? Now there's many different ways to skin a cat, but in this example, I'm gonna show you my way. And if you have an easier way, let me know in the description down below. So now we're gonna have to swap Ethereum for Crow in order to get Crow, right? Because if you're not using the exchange to get Crow on the wallet, I mean, how else are you gonna do it? Usually wallets have an option, and I see the MetaMask wallet, they have an option to buy right here. So you can use uh, you know, third-party websites to use your credit card or your bank account information or those sorts of things. But in 
and MetaMask, if you click on the Kronos chain, you can see there's no option to buy. And if you go into the Kronos wallet, you can see there's also not an option to buy anything, just send, receive, and swap. So I'm going to need to convert Ethereum to Crow. And how I'm going to be doing that is using a third party website. And both of these websites are safe. I've used them both. One's called Let's Exchange. The other one's called ChangeNow.io. Cross-chain functionality scares a lot of people in cryptocurrency, guys. But you got to be able to dabble outside of the world of Ethereum. There are so many products on so many other blockchains that you want to get in on. Uh, and it's hard to get into them because people don't like to deal with other networks. But I'm going to make it really easy for you guys. So for this example, let's use Let's Exchange. So this is the home page right here. And I'm going to click what I want want to exchange for what? So in this example, I want to change exchange ETH for Crow. Now, important when you're picking Crow, right? When you type in Crow, that you do not pick Crow ERC20, because what that is, is crypto.com on the Ethereum blockchain. If you guys didn't know, you can get crypto.com on the Ethereum blockchain. But unfortunately, uh, most projects that are in the Crow ecosystem are not on the Ethereum blockchain. So you can only get them on the Kronos chain. So we need to make sure we get the actual Crow coin, not wrapped Kronos, right? That, that And that's what crypto.com is on the Ethereum blockchain. So this is how you do it. So once we get the correct Crow, which is crypto.com coin, again, not an ERC20, we click that. And then we're gonna put how much we want to convert. Of course, there is a minimum. So for this example, I'll do 0 0.072, and that's gonna get me 1,488 1, crow. Now I'm gonna to go to exchange. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna ask me, where do I want to receive my crow? Where's the receiving address? I'm gonna open up my wallet. I'm gonna copy my wallet address right here at the top. You can see it right here. And this is the expanded view. If you guys want some expanded view right here, right here up at the top, copy that. Go back to the website and paste it right here. And that's where I'm gonna get my crow at. I'm gonna go to next. Uh, I'm gonna accept the terms. You can add your email if you want to. I don't, cause I already trust this exchange. Now, I have to deposit the 0 0.072 ETH. So I'm gonna copy the deposit address right here. Copy that. Now I'm gonna go to my other wallet, which is my MetaMask wallet in this example, right? And I'm going to click on Ethereum, right? And I'm going to press send and I'm going to paste that address I just copied, right? Now I'm gonna put the, the amount that I wanna send, which is 0 0.072. I'm gonna go to confirm that, all that good stuff right here, and we're gonna wait for this to be done pending. Nice, now that transaction is done, I'm gonna go back to the website where we did the exchange, and now it's going to be waiting to receive the deposit. So it takes a little bit, so have some patience with this process. Okay, so I just got a notification like, 20 seconds later saying we have received your deposits it says now we are exchanging your funds just please wait now this process can take a while depending on how much you've sent i've had it take like 30 minutes i've had it take 30 seconds so sometimes i mean it's faster than others so just bear with me and just like that we have successfully swapped our ethereum for crow and of course that crow was sent to our destination which was our Kronos wallet now this swap took about 30 to 45 minutes it took quite a while Sometimes it's faster, sometimes it's slower. You kind of roll the dice with these sorts of third-party websites. Obviously, the easiest thing to do would be to buy it on the Crypto.com exchange and send it to your DeFi wallet. But we want to keep things strictly in DeFi right now. I just kept it on in the background and I went to go do things around my place and I came back and the swap was done. So keep that in mind when you're swapping, have some patience. But of course, the question is, how the heck did we buy Tectonic? Well, now that we have Crow in our wallet, we can buy some Tectonic. Now, of course, you can go just to the drop down menu on your wallet, right? The actual browser extension, and you can swap it within the app. I'm going to use the expanded view right here. You can go to swap. You can select what token you want to receive. And of course, that is tectonic. And you put the amount of uh, crow you want to swap. In this case, you want to do 200. Now, it's going to get you the best rate. And we know this best rate is on VVS Finance. Now, you can press swap on VVS Finance. It's going to take you to VVS Finance. Right, it's gonna connect your wallet and now you're here. So let's go ahead and swap for some tectonic. So we'll put 300 crow in this example. We'll select what we wanna trade it for. And of course that is tonic. And then we'll go ahead and let's see if we can mess with the slip. I think the slippage should be fine right now. And let's just try to swap. Let's go ahead and swap, confirm that swap. Go ahead and confirm that in our wallet. It'll tell us how much we're gonna receive and those sorts of things. This is why I love other blockchains that are not the Ethereum blockchain, like every other blockchain is super cheap to operate on. And that's because Ethereum blockchain is used so much, right? The network's uh, used by everyone. 
and let's go and look at just like that our transaction is done so we go to open up our wallet and we now have our tectonic in our DeFi wallet if we go to the expanded view we can see the tectonic right there so let me know what you think in the comments down below it's a pretty simple process it could take some time but it's pretty easy and simple uh, to do once you get the hang of it and you can repeat this process for any project in the Kronos ecosystem right so if you want to get into crypto.com and the Kronos chain and explore the depths of what they have to offer you Use this video as a tutorial. Again, make sure you smash that like button on the way out. Subscribe to the channel if this video helped you, and I will talk to you soon. Peace.